are a silver sponsor for Kuala Palooza and will take the stage with two of our clients during a panel discussion. Uh, this is just footage of me checking in and putting the name tags or ribbons on my badge. I remember during COVID, there were ribbons that said things related to how you actually wanted to interact with people, like I prefer fist bump only or stay six feet away. checking in it is then time to start putting my table together and yes I do put my own table together unless I brought one of my employees with me or for a family member like my mom or sister they travel with me sometimes and then they may help me put it together otherwise I am putting it together by myself um, one thing I don't think I'm planning to do any sponsorships and booth setups in 2025 I'm gonna stick with the word of mouth and see how far I go um, just getting a little tired of putting together the tables and all the travel I am so excited to have gotten my DJI Osmo Pocket 3 back. And so today we are going to Soda City with Keisha and Terika and um, just gonna go out there and see what we can find. Need some more olive oils from Charleston, what is it, Low Country uh, Oils. So we're gonna go out there, we're gonna hang out. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning, uh, Father's Day weekend. So let's go and see what we got. That's what I feel like too. Oh yeah, I might do this. Yeah, I might do this. I feel like food, food. Go get me some. So we are back home from Soda City. We got us some beautiful strawberries. Ooh, they leafy. I'll show them in a minute. Um, but no, we're back from Soda City and I am unpacking some things. Make this clean. I bought some okra. Look at my strawberries. Ain't they pretty? Beautiful strawberries. And I got some okra. I got some okra, which I am going to just cut these up later. I'm not going to cut these up now. I'm going home tomorrow. Because if you cut them up too soon, they'll just be getting brown. 
and I got a nice tomato. So next week I'll have some okra and tomatoes. Somebody had some offensive mugs, funny yet offensive. And so I bought the one that was as least offensive. So it just says nope with the middle finger. So, uh, And I like the fact that they have it on both sides of the cup. So whether I'm left-handed or right-handed, if I'm drinking it, you can see it either way. And it's the taller cup. That's it. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is I am actually going to do some work for the fractional roll that I have that I should have done last night, um, but it, last night was Friday night, so I just kind of took it easy. Uh, so today what I'm actually going to do, it's about 1.40, I'm gonna go in here and do that work, and then I'm gonna take me a nap, and then once I wake up, I am going to work on my YouTube channel and um, this, try to finish this ebook and some other stuff that I've got. Uh, so, so far it's been a great day. I enjoyed Soda City out with my friends and their kids. Uh, so that was this morning, but it was super hot. And so I do feel drained, but I'm just going to fill up on some water and take me a nap, wake up refreshed. But I've got to take me a shower too because I'm sweating all over. So that's for what we've got going on right now. And then we'll regroup after or when we're doing a little bit of work. This is a new place that I'm living in. It is an apartment and I really do love the setup. I love a nice kitchen and this one here actually has a great bar sitting area which I absolutely love. This is not my dream home but it is better than where I was previously renting and living. The house I was in needed some major upgrades. During my time there I did the next best thing I could and fixed up one of the rooms that served as my office and then a corner of it was also to read my bible and journal. It was super cool and quaint but if you paid attention to details, which I never recorded, the ceiling actually had the popcorn peeling and hanging off. I hated the kitchen at that house, the green carpet, the shower, and the bad plumbing. I would be cleaning there and I would just say to the Lord, I am grateful because I am not sleeping on the streets. I will keep it clean like it is my house on the lake that I so desire. I will be faithful over these few things, manage what I do have now that meets my needs, but certainly not my wants until I get what I really want. Well, I decided the next best thing to do at the renewal was to get an apartment. I at least needed an upgraded space in some fashion until I could afford the house that I really want. I repeat the same thing here as I am cleaning, but with a lot more pep in my step and joy in my step because I really do like it here. My mama would always remind me to take care of what little or a lot that God has trusted me with and he will always reward me with more. I'm reading a book entitled The Alone Advantage by Terry Savelle Foy, and she quotes an attorney, John Kralick, that says, until you learn to be grateful for the things that you have, you will not receive the things that you want. Luke 6 and 10 from the Bible says, whoever can be trusted with small things can also be trusted with big things. I am preparing in this season for my bigger. Today is Monday, the day after Father's Day. I am in Hartsville and I came down on yesterday to spend time with my dad for Father's Day. And I decided, since I had a very light calendar um, today, that I would just stay and go back tomorrow, which is Tuesday. And I did it because I know whenever I call my parents, because both of them are retired, um, I'm always wondering what they're doing during the week. <laughs> And they'll say things like, oh, I just got finished eating breakfast. Oh, I've been out cutting grass. Or if my sister's off, they might be talking. So I said, you know what? I'm going to see if I can sit at home with them on a weekday and, and just see what happens. Well, it is about 1.38 and I am bored out of my mind, okay? Uh, my sister is off of work. And um, I was sitting at the house. I did, I did a, probably a about an mile, hour and a half of work. Turn left South Carolina 151 South. So I did about an hour and a half worth of work, and uh, I, we, me and Finn went walking this morning, so we did do that, but I, I had to get out of the house. Uh, so I was going to go to the Crema coffee shop, um, but then I remembered I needed to get a copy of my... At the light, turn left onto South Carolina 151 South. And yes, I still have to have directions. Well, I don't have to. I think I know where I'm going. But it never hurt. Continue on South Carolina 151 South for five miles. 
So um, what happened is I, I needed to get my driver's license updated with my new address and originally I was going to pick it up from the DMV in uh, Hartsville, I mean in Columbia, but since I was here all day today, uh, I was getting ready to go to Crema Coffee Shop and then I remembered that I needed to get my ID. So I was like, I wonder how far the DMV is from, from here and it was only like 14 minutes. So I said, well shoot, I'll just run down there real quick, grab my... Um, uh, updated ID uh, because I need that for um, something I'm getting ready to work on and then I'll come back and go to Crema coffee shop and maybe work on my YouTube channel for a little bit all right so just sitting at home today and that just was not working for me uh, my mom was like one thing about you you're gonna find somebody someplace unique to go to I was like yeah cuz I just uh, if I sit here any longer I will go to sleep because uh, it's real quiet my father's outside helping somebody trying to fix their generator uh, my mom's just sitting in the house, piddle pedaling around, cleaning stuff that she didn't clean over and over. And Finn was sitting around on her phone. So I was like, you know what? If I don't get out of here, I'm going to go to sleep. So I decided just to, to, to get out and, and go to Crema Coffee Shop. Uh, and then I'll, since I was already out, I said, no, let me run down here to the DMV and see if I can pick up my ID. Uh, I just, I just got to be productive. And it's, it's, yeah, so it was just hard not to do anything today. Uh, so that's what I'm choosing to do. And then I probably go to Crema, which is a coffee shop, and work. Uh, just work on my YouTube channel. I'm trying not to work on regular stuff uh, today, just so I can at least take a, a break from it. I did, like I said, about an hour and a half of that fractional work. Uh, but I don't really want to do much else of that. I can at least take my brain off of it and then just work on something else. Because I do have a full day tomorrow. So full day tomorrow. Meetings are lined up all over the place. Uh, so I mean, back to back to back to back. So I'm going to try and get out of here in the morning uh, early. Finn has to go to work and she's supposed to be to work by 7. So if I can get out of here when she gets out of here, that'll put me back in Columbia by 8, 8.30. I need to pick up my food that's going to be ready today from Beyond Pills. So I started their meal prep service this week. Uh, so I'll be able to go and pick that up in the morning between 8 and 8.30. And then um, I wish I could get a walk-in in the morning, but I may not. I may not have time. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. But I really do want to start setting a routine so I can get back into shape uh, because it's, 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 I really want to set a routine so I can get back into shape. And so that's what the plan is for now. And uh, we'll just keep walking, we'll just keep walking up. So we'll just keep going along and see how the day ends up. Take it away, feeling too good to me Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough Too caught up in your love Alright, so this morning it's about 8.24 And I just picked up my meals for the week from Beyond Pills And Alex, the owner uh, she came out and she gave me my meals and she said, and Renarda, I put you a Stanley Cup in your bag. Y'all, I've been wanting a Stanley Cup, but only because I see the influencers on a YouTube channel with them and it was such a big craze. But I'm like, Renarda, the last thing you need is a cup. Uh, but I was watching uh, Jazz Turner over the weekend on her Glow Up Diaries and she always has this Stanley Cup by her bed. And it's the same color that Alex bought and put it in my bag. And so I said, you know what? As I got back in my car and I started thinking, I said, here's what, here's what, how good God is and how manifestation works. And I think about what Terry Savelle Foy talks about and talks about how we got to um, do all of the manifestation and stuff, right? And so I, it got me to thinking, I have the vision board with the house on the lake and the Escalade and all this kind of stuff, right? And I know that that's all possible. But sometimes it's hard to see it from where you're at because it's it's so big picture. But what I'm not focused on and what I don't have on the vision board is the foundational blocks to get me there. So just as small as this cup is because I saw it in a video and I wanted it and I saw myself drinking more water because I had it. I can see that I need to do the same as it relates to my bigger goals. So like, yes, I want the house and yes, I want the, the Escalade. But more importantly than that, it's not the things that I want. It's the freedom that I want. And the freedom that I want is to have my taxes paid off. 
the freedom that I want is to have my uh, uh, two loans I got at Lending Club paid off. I want my credit cards paid off every month. That's the I want the back debt that I owe people paid off. So what I want is the financial freedom to be able to afford the house and afford the car and afford the trips not necessarily those individual things themselves and i say all that to say i've been focusing sometimes on the wrong thing manifesting the wrong things you're manifesting the, the big things the things that you can see the tangibles but what we also need to realize uh, that we need to be looking for is those foundational things because guess what if we can manifest the foundational things the things on our vision board is then endless because we have the foundational things that we need, which is to be debt free, which is to be uh, able to pay our credit cards off every month, which is to have the business, which is to get the more contracts. It's the long game, it's not the short game, it's not the house that's on the vision board, it's not the black Escalade that's on the vision board, it's not the trip to Italy that's on the vision board, the trip to Hawaii that's on the vision board. It's none of those things, because all those things will fall into place if and when you manifest the actual building blocks which is to be debt free, which is to have more clients, which is to have good credit. And those are the things that I'm going to focus on just like the Stanley Cup. I saw myself in my room with my Stanley Cup just like Jazz Turner. And that is a foundation for uh, living a healthier lifestyle, for getting back into shape. And it started with the cup because the cup then makes you want to drink more water. And so I'm going to apply that same thing to, to, to this. And it just hit me. Lord, I thank you for, for I thank you for deliverance. I thank you for discernment. I thank you for message. And I just appreciate it. And Alex, that cup meant more to me than you than you thought. And and I'm just I'm just amazed. I'm gonna look back and be so amazed. So I'm on the way to the pharmacy because I got a Medicare appointment uh, at 2.30, which I'm actually a little late for. I told her I'd be in by 2.45. And this Cadillac Escalade got on the interstate and they are in front of me. And I must say it is such a beauty. Earlier this week, um, I was at another one of the um, credit restoration financial wealth seminars and one of the young ladies there she joined the program February February 26 and she has already reached the r, &R club where she gets a uh, vehicle and she got the Cadillac Escalade okay it's black it is absolutely beautiful uh, she got that in what February to March April May June about four months and so I am I am so stoked about it I don't know how I'm gonna lay all this out but I want my truck by the end of the year and I think I know this program is gonna help me to get there uh, so that's just what I wanted to talk about as far as uh, trailing this uh, truck all the way to Camden on my way to uh, meet a Medicare client. The other piece is it is Friday afternoon, so traffic has been quite heavy. Uh, I'm just out here uh, moseying right on along. Don't much feel like going out here today, but sometimes you got to do stuff when you don't feel like it. And I was going to postpone it to Monday, but then I would have just been thinking about it all weekend. And the way my bank account looks and the way it's set up, I need to go out here and get her set up so I can get a commission check uh, in, in July for it. So I'm going out here and I'm going to do this. I really wish, so just to put this out here, I've got 22 open projects right now. I sat down the other day and I just wrote them all out. I'm like, how many projects open do I have right now? And if I could get through all of them, how would it look to get some of this stuff closed out? So I've got my Medicare agent ebook uh, almost finished. I've got my managed care online course almost finished. And so I've, I've got too many things open and I just need to close some of these loops so that I can feel like I am not as overwhelmed. And literally, it's not a lot of stuff that's pending in the project. Like 90 to 95% of all of, most of them are done it's just that I just gotta close the loop and I haven't made any YouTube videos this week so I am going to do that either today or tomorrow I'm very excited about that because I do have some topics um, I think the next one I'm getting ready to make is going to be the five things that worry me as an entrepreneur and so I think I want to release that one first and then I also need to complete the EIN video that goes with the LLC setup video um, and just try and incorporate all this stuff together and so helping somebody start their business but also your personal credit is a big indicator of can you get business credit cards 
can you get business funding uh, and so I want to be able to help use the credit restoration financial wealth piece to tie into the to the business part so I've got a big vision um, and then the whole 10x coaching and, and being a 10x business coach that is so going to help me in so many ways uh, I just really just need to close up some of these things and get things going uh, the other thing that I want to talk about is I've been watching folks uh, on like these glow up journeys in particular Jazz Turner and uh, some other folks that talk about whenever you're trying to make change it's like it comes from the Atomic Habits book you need to see yourself as that person and so I've been trying so desperately to cut back on drinking which I have not to the point of not drinking every day but to the fact that I may not be drinking the full bottle of wine every day uh, so it may be a bottle of wine every two to every two and a half days and but what I'm really trying to do is just to cut it out all together and the only way I'm going to be able to do that uh, is with God's help uh, so I've been praying for it which I usually don't do but I have been seriously praying for it uh, a couple of times now and needing to just picture myself as that girl as the person the young woman the uh, middle-aged woman whatever you want to call it the person that identifies themselves as not a habitual drinker uh, may drink casually may be a social drinker but I am NOT the person that, that drinks on a consistent basis I don't need wine or alcohol or anything to feel social I don't need it to um, calm down I don't need it just because I've had a bad day um, I drink it whenever I would like to um, I do not drink it in excess I'm also uh, the person that works out so I got up this morning and I did my walk and it felt so great I am the person that drinks my water uh, thanks to one of the interns that brought me a Stanley cup I absolutely love it so just trying to identify with who that person is what Renarda looks like uh, what the Renarda that lives on the lake with her black Escalade looks like what does she do on a daily basis and start to incorporate and live that life now uh, and so that's what I'm trying to do is just trying to clean up some of my health habits so that I can be a healthier person so that I can be uh, better mentally and so like it, when I drink, I'm just tired the next day, or I get tired quicker because you don't sleep as well when you drink. And so, just trying to cut all that out because I'm going to need every piece of strength I got uh, to get through all these projects and the things that I have and this big vision in my head. And somebody's waiting for me on the other side of me making all these decisions. Um, and so, in order for me to be the person that somebody needs in order to be successful, I've got to clean up some things and make some changes. So that is my car rant for today. I am almost at the pharmacy. I'm going to go in here. Hopefully this doesn't take longer than an hour. And so I'm going to get this all wrapped up and then I'm going to head back home. I want a nap, but last night I took a nap. I did have a glass and a half of wine last night and I took a nap and it was only supposed to be about two hours. This landed up about three hours. I didn't wake up to 11 o'clock. And so I really don't want to do that today, but if I could just get like an hour nap because I am, I am sleepy. Uh, so we'll see if I can or if I can't. Um, but actually, if I can get a nap and then get up and then just work throughout the night, that would be awesome uh, because most people will be in the bed sleep. So it'll be very quiet and I can just sit in my office and, and then just work. So uh, we'll see how it goes. But I'm going to get off of this because I am in Camden and the speed limit goes from the, from 35 to 25. And I look like I'm doing 50 and now at 40. So I don't want to get a ticket. Uh, but that is the rant for today. So let's, let's get it done. Let's get things done and finished. Just to let you know, this is not going to be able to be recorded and shared um, neither will this deck be able to be sent out however if you have any questions after everything is over our contact information is going to be in the um, on the screen and you'll be able to contact us from there so let's go ahead and get started um, this again is the pharmacy incentive program for independent pharmacies um, that support Blue Cross Blue Shield Medicare line of business so here is just the um, Incentive program details, this should look very familiar because this is the exact table that you received uh, on the facts inviting you to participate in the incentive program. And so we're gonna go over it so you can actually see what some of these details are. All right, so we are heading downtown to the podcast. It's 1236, the podcast is supposed to start at one o'clock. It is my very first podcast. I am super excited about it. Uh, so we're gonna go in and get us a part. I really hate parking on campus. It is a nightmare, but I do have a parking pass that Miss Margaret set up for me, so hopefully it won't be too bad. 
and then um, I'm assuming the podcast may take 30 to 45 minutes don't know I will set up my camera to try and get some footage I will not record the entire thing but once it is published you all will be able to see it and I will let you know so I am looking forward to it so let's get going now like I was in speaking in front of a whole crowd but um, it was interesting uh, I think uh, I think it went well I like the way that it was very conversational uh, so it'll be out in July I'll be sure sure to uh, I will be sure to share the link and so I think it went well so now we're gonna go home I'm supposed to do a couple of things for work so I'm gonna get that done and get ready for this YouTube live tonight been invited out downtown with a pharmacist and a couple of pharmacists from the Carolinas affiliate AMCP chapter so I may go down there with them uh, maybe and so we'll see how the evening goes but the podcast went very well And it dawned on me, Bernardo, where are you and where are you going? So I, I got on 20 Florence versus getting on 26. Um, mindlessly. Didn't, I didn't even, and even where I was, I said, where am I exactly? Like, I don't, I, I just blanked out. I don't know. I didn't know where I was and where I was going. Um, and so I had to pull the GPS up so it could tell me where I was going. And, um, and better yet tell me where I was and so I was right in front of the Monticello Road exit so I, I got off on that exit and now I'm having to go back down 20 uh, to get 226 and I will tell you that traffic is hell it is it is packed on this side um, and so that's probably gonna add time to my uh, or commute uh, but it just goes to show that I really don't feel like it this weekend I don't feel like going uh, I got a lot on my plate. Uh, I got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, I just, I just absolutely don't feel like it. And if I wasn't speaking on Saturday, I probably would have backed out. Um, but I am going to go and I'm going to make the best of it. I'm going to create some YouTube videos. And also, 
just because I'm going to be delayed, not that I had to be there by a specific time, I wanted to be on the road by three. Uh, but one of the things that I try not to get upset when I get turned around is because maybe God turned me around for a reason. Maybe there was an accident or a reason that I was supposed to not um, have gotten on the interstate when I did. So I try not to be upset. Um, and then it could just be because I am very terrible with directions. Like, I, it is what it is. I mean, I'm bad with directions. So, you know, maybe it ain't got nothing to do with avoiding anything. And maybe it does. I don't know. Either way, I can't be upset because either it was my fault um, because I'm terrible with directions or it was divine intervention in the fact that the Lord didn't mean for me to be on the interstate at that time. So whatever the case may be, I'm going to stay positive about it. I'm going to continue to listen to my podcast and get on the right direction to 26 so that I can get on up here uh, to this creepy Francis Marion Hotel for the Pharmacy Association Convention. I know once I get there, I'll shake out of this funk. Um, it's just getting there. I hate driving to Charleston for one. It's a very uneventful eventful two hour drive I just I just hate it so uh, that's I just came on to say that so it's 3 19 right now and so I will check back in when I get to the hotel and so we can see what's going on and, and what's the plans uh, for this evening It's giving old fields that's because it is old uh, this is our last year at the Francis Marion Hotel I did get a bigger room this year thankfully because I got two double beds so I've been missing out uh, but what always gets me is this toilet and it gets me because look at where you flush from <laughs> so if you're sitting on the toilet almost feels like you're driving a stick because you got the downshift with it okay uh, let's see if we can get a better visual of it let's see So yeah, so if you're on the toilet, which this is not gonna work. I can't get it to work. Oh, but maybe if I put it down here. There you go. Then you got it. So you kind of get the gist of the toilet. Now I don't know what's in here. I'm assuming it's just the regular closet. The regular closet so definitely nothing spectacular about this hotel if you like stuff that is historic this is certainly your place to be um, but we're here this is our third year here and then there's my favorite pizza pulp joint down there um, might not be able to get it yeah but my favorite pizza joint Sabatino's is out there uh, so and there's just the view
definitely need something from the U.S. and see. What's that? Oh, that's so cute. Now take one. Thank you. And then band-aids. You got band-aids. I can't see nothing. Okay, I need that. I'll take these. Oh, y'all got the nice bags over here. We appreciate it, Bernard. Ooh, I like these. <laughs> We appreciate it. Go get my stuff for everybody come around. Oh, I can't see. Hey, hey, how are you? Doing fine. Good nice to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, yeah. Y'all look nice. I like the glasses. Thank you. Oh, I like the butterfly. That was so cute. I like it. I'm glad people understood the assignment. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That part, how's it going? It's going good. Oh, it's good. Uh-uh. No. The way my week been going, y'all diagnose me with diabetes. <laughs> no, I'm fast. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to pass on that. Um, does that when y'all doing it? Tomorrow? No, it's Sunday. Oh, okay. Okay. Now I'm getting out of here early Sunday. I did look at it, though. I'm getting out of here early Sunday. You're doing a presentation tomorrow. Yeah, Medicare. What's the update? 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 You look awesome. I'm trying. I had to pl play, play the part. I like your medals for the Olympics. Yeah, so we do an Olympic game with our customers. Uh -huh. And uh, we set them up. And when the Olympics start, there's sales categories for each one. And they win a gold, silver, or bronze medal. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. We're 650 independents around the country. So they like it when we create games for them. Yeah. So we did a March Madness. And now we're doing an Olympic one. I got you. Yeah. So what it's a drug nutrients. Oh, so, uh, okay. Okay, you got all of the supplements. Yeah, we got drug nutrients, yeah. probiotics. So the way our company got started, I was an independent pharmacist. I had five stores of my own in Mississippi. Oh wow. Uh, so I, I think people fail in the drug nutrient depletion because it, you know, like yeah. they do a statin, a CoQ10, a metformin, and yeah. then you give them a handful of supplements and a handful of pills. Yeah. Yeah, they got an expensive handful, can swallow everything. Yeah. We put it into one multivitamin. Oh, okay. So we, we use methylated B12, methylated B6, methylated B12, 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 methyl
That's what he's doing here. <laughs> but then with the Magellan side is probably how they got all connected. That makes sense. Prime Yeah. So, yeah. And they're in the process of changing the whole name over. Yep. That yep. makes sense. Because yeah, I was coming to be nosy. <laughs> that part. Good talking to you. You too. Hey, how are you? Oh, you are fine. Yes, thank you. Come by my booth. I got all this stuff oh, over there. Did? Yes. First booth on the left. Okay. Peace okay. in. Yep. Hey, Jake. I saw that. <laughs> hey, hey, how are y'all? Oh, the La Roche <laughs> Of those already, so I think I'm good. Everything I have is hospital based. Oh, yeah, I ain't hospital. <laughs> hey, hey. I wanted to meet you. Oh, you, you just seem like a neat person. <laughs> Can I meet you real quick? So lovely. <laughs> My name's Carl. I'm Renarda. Renarda? Renarda, yeah. Renarda. Yes. Such, such nice good so to nice meet to you, meet you. too. is graciously sponsored by Sadler Hughes Apothecary. Uh, here's my bio. I'm not going to read this all to you. I can tell that you just know you're basking in the warmth of greatness. And the admiration is mutual. So uh, We have with us Renata Jones as your speaker today. She has asked that I not elaborate on this bio. She said she will sing her own praises. So we will allow her the courtesy of doing that. I was going to joke with William because William sponsored uh, uh, Michael Hogue yesterday, and, but it's because of William that I'm actually here because he saw me at Carolina's AMCP uh, Day of Education where I presented something similar. And he said, well, why don't you bring that to the association? And so I finally got a chance to bring it to the association. Um, however, William, I was going to be upset that you didn't sponsor my session, but I love Mr. Uh, Hughes, so we're fine with Sadler Hughes sponsoring uh, <laughs> this session also. So our first... I still maintain that you're awesome and I'm so happy Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, so the assessment questions, I'm going to tell you that these are not necessarily the questions that are going to qualify you to win the iPad, but I'm also not going to tell you that they're not the questions that's going to qualify you uh, to win the iPad. Okay, so either way, you need to pay attention because there's an iPad up for grabs at the end. So I have something a little bit more than just the CE code at the end if you are the winner. First assessment question, what year is the donut hole officially removed from Part D cover stages? Let's see if this works. Oh, yeah. Um, the second one is, what phases will the drug manufacturer pay a portion of brand drugs starting in 2025? And the third one is, starting with 2024, adherence measures for star ratings will be calculated using what? 
All right, so I'm gonna throw these acronyms out here and kudos to the education committee um, with Betsy because when I sent over the slides, I didn't realize they were gonna come back chopped up. <laughs> like, I'm like, somebody really reads these things? <laughs> and so uh, they have some great suggestions. Um, I use affect, not effect. Uh, <laughs> so it was great that they um, recommended we put in this acronym slide because what you will notice that a lot of you probably notice, uh, we have a lot of acronyms in pharmacy and then as you get into more niche like managed care they just keep growing and growing and growing and sometimes they all mean different things like the IRA <laughs> like that certainly has different meanings depending on who you're talking with but today that's going to be the inflation reduction act CAPS is the consumer assessment of healthcare providers this is actually a member experience survey and PDC is proportion of days covered True is true out of pocket, and MTM is medication therapy management. Yeah, K A H O O T dot I T. At Kuala Palooza, and we talked about Inflation Reduction Act, and it was health plans that were there. And so I said, we're going to do it in reverse. I'm not going to do that to y'all today, though, but I gave the third place winner the <laughs> iPad <Wow>. and <laughs> because uh, yeah that everything's going in reverse for the health plan so that's why I did that <laughs> all right third place and second place I do have some swag boxes for you so Julia you got a swag box oh Marquia you got a swag box and first place goes HK who's HK <laughs> you win the iPad. <laughs> Andy, Mallory, Gianna, and Charlie. Never heard awesome. of Awesome, oh, very nice. <laughs> you let me know when you got the site next song. I'll do that. Dave, we, <laughs> we got to work on his music selection. All right, from <laughs> University of South Take it away, feeling too good to me Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough Too caught up in your love 